Hey everybody, it's Rebecca and this is Yarn and Pajamas and today I am doing my hashtag movie and stitch. I'm going to do my review for my G movie which was Grind Stone Road. I'm going to show you my project that I made for the movie and then I am going to reveal the movie that I've chosen for my letter H. So let's just get right on into it here and let's talk about Grindstone Road. So I'm gonna bring it up on my phone here for um, IMDB. So it says Grindstone Road was made in 2008. It's an hour and 33 minutes long. And it is classified as a horror, comma, mystery, comma, thriller. So it stars um, Faruza Bach. She plays Hannah. And she was the one um, in the craft. And she played in the Water Boy, too. Um, Greg Brick, Walter Learning, Joanna Gregson. So I think those were like the, the main people there. So it says for its little tagline, which is um, kind of long. So. I'm not going to read that because I think it's like a synopsis of the movie. So I'm just going to go right on in and talk about the movie. So at first, when I first started it, I thought um, this was going to be one of those like not good independent films. Like a, like a way independent, like way, way independent. So I thought it was going to be cheesy is what I thought starting out. So, um, it starts out showing a car crash scene with Hannah, and, um, you see that someone has been thrown through the passenger side windshield of her car. It, it doesn't show who it is, or it's very ambiguous, like you don't know anything, you just know that this has happened. So, fast forward to present day. It's been like about a year later. And um, you see Hannah at the hospital. She's going to visit someone. You know, and they're like, hey, we haven't seen you in a while. Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Hannah goes and is looking at a house that's for sale. And it's on a um, street called Grind Stone Road. So, um, it's a very like creepy old looking house she just walks in like knocks on the door and then just you know goes on in like people in movies do and she meets a man there and the man introduces himself and she asks if he's the owner and he says no that he you know knows the owner and such and for her to look around well next thing you know hannah and husband graham move in and they start having some problems with the house, you know, noises, um, water being like on the floor and then water's not there and stuff. So you eventually learn that Hannah has not come to terms with the accident. And you learn more about the accident um, who was in the accident with her. Um, her husband is a psychiatrist, so he um, gives her medicine to try to help her with her PTSD. Um, and she, he feels is slipping further and further away. So, Hannah learns that something terrible happened in her home. Well, they say it's terrible. I mean, it is, but it didn't happen, like, inside her home. A little boy went missing, and he was never found. So, of course, Hannah starts to fixate on this little boy and how she can help him. So, her husband sees that again as she's slipping further and further from reality because she feels like this little boy is is speaking to her and, and wanting help. So, you know, about this time, 
I'm not going to lie to you, the movie is a little bit cheesy. But it is very engaging. So it's like, and you can kind of, after like one scene, you know what's going on. Like it's, it's like you can see how it's going to play out. But at that point, you're, you're engaged. Like you are, you're, you're going to stick through it because, yeah, I mean, like I was, I was like, totally there for it. You know, just crush out and away. I was making my, um, square. Um, so yeah. So I really recommend this movie. I'm going to give it two thumbs up, man. I really liked it. The only thing that I didn't like, and I believe it was Valerie at Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet, who said, like, when they want, like, these types of thrillers and, like, um, you know, mystery, like, spooky, scary things, when they try to set that ambiance of, ooh, it's supposed to be spooky and scary, it's, like, in the dark. Well, I can't see that. So, I need, you know, you to figure out a way to do it in the light. Like, I mean, that's exactly what um, she, Valerie said. Do it to where we can see it. So there were some scenes, and there wasn't a, a whole lot of them like that, that had, um, like, dark scenes. But there were, like, one or two scenes that it was kind of in the dark. But most of it, you know, you could see really, really good. It was a very engaging. The acting was really good, too. You know, I mean, she's been acting since she was, like, a little girl. I remember her in, like, that movie, The Return to the Wizard of Oz. With the, the one that was, like, the pumpkin head one. So, like, she's been acting, like, professionally for a really long time. And whoever played her husband, he seemed to know, like, what he was doing. And um, the neighbors, they seem to know what they were doing. And I've seen the neighbor lady before in something I just can't recall. And I know that I'm not good at giving these reviews. And I'm really sorry because I try not to, like, tell too much of the plot or, like, give, like, spoilers in case someone does be like, oh, well, that sounds interesting. I want to go back and watch it. I don't want to... I've told you every, you know, good part about the movie, but it was very good. Do I consider it a scary movie? No. It didn't have any of that, like, jump out, like, <gasps> kind of stuff. It didn't have any of that. Um, it did have, like, a supernatural element to it. Um, and I believe the disclaimer on the, you know, like, where it says, like, um, violence and and sexual content i didn't really get the sexual content part like her and her husband like made out and part of it but it's kissing is kissing you know but you know there were some um s scenes where people got physical like you know like they do in those types of movies like struggles I guess, and there was a um, scene at the end that was, you know, that was pretty, you know, violent or whatever, but yeah, so yeah, I really, I really enjoyed it, and I would recommend it, uh, and so I was surprised by this one, I was really surprised that I turned out to like it as well as I did, so if you guys are Wanting to watch it, you know, just give it like 10, 15, 20 minutes. I mean, because it gets over that cheese factor pretty fast and it engages you. And then, I mean, after a certain thing happens, you know, it's like a little bit predictable after that. And you can kind of guess what's going to happen next. But you're still so engaged and the story just moves fast after that, that... You know, you don't even care that you've predicted what's going to happen. It was just really good. So, I really liked it. So, Grindstone Road. And I watched it on Amazon Prime. I am a Prime member, so I get that stuff for free. So, I don't know if it's showing anywhere else. Well, for my project, since I've spoke for 10 minutes about the movie. For my project... 
I'm working on blocks that have the alphabet on them. And this one is Grindstone Road. So I made the G block. And here she is. I'm getting a lot better at sewing on my appliques. Even though I don't think that my G, you know, turned out looking all that great. But I think that it was just the way that I positioned it. But, you know, the little G, she looking good over here. She looking good. So, the square is made by Free Pattern from Maria's Blue Crayon. It's called the Granny Square 2.0. This is what the back looks like. So, you start out in a circle, and then it goes to a square, and then you just do the square. So, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's really easy and really fast. And the colors that I used was a scrap ball of, I believe it's uh, the Heather Gray from Red Heart Yarn. And I, um, full disclosure, I played Yarn Chicken and I lost. And I thought, oh, well, I have a full skein of this upstairs. No, I didn't. It was an I Love This Yarn one and it wasn't even a full skein but I was only eight stitches away so I know that you can kind of see there that lighter gray but you know what it is what it is and I was not going to go back out to the store for eight stitches I thought you know it's just part of life sometimes we lose at yarn chicken and it's okay if we lose it's okay you know Yarn one, Rebecca Zero. I, I'll get him next time, though. I'll get him next time. Don't worry. Okay. So, yes. So, it was a scrap ball. And then the appliques for the letters. You got your uppercase and your lowercase are from the Moogly blog. And they are free patterns on there. And I'm using... I love this yarn in... Um, fruit salad. It's a colorway. So yeah, I had um, a fun time making this one. I really liked making the baby G here. He was a lot of fun to make. So speaking of, you guys see my nails there? Have you guys um, seen that? Um, it's very sparkly. I've seen them on Instagram. I see them on Facebook now too. So they must be tracking me. Ohora, oh, Aura Nails, O-H-O-R-A, I believe. They're supposed to be like gel nails, and then you have the lamp, and you, like you stick them on, and then you cure it, and it's supposed to... Mm, don't waste your money. Do not waste your money, because, I mean, I just put these on, and they've peeled off. Now, this one, this... Four times I replaced this nail. Four times. I just done these on Sunday. Today is Monday. Four times. I'm so disappointed in them. Normally I use Color Straight, but I thought, oh, gel nails, it'll probably last longer. Mm -mm. Won't be fooled again. Won't be fooled again. So there is my G block. G block. All right, so I get to put that with the rest of them. And now let's move on to my H movie. So I'm going to watch, it's on HBO Max. It's called Henry Poole Is Here. It looks to be like one of those like indie movies, like where not really a whole lot is going to happen, but it's more based about the characters and how they interact with each other. So, I'm looking forward to that. It has one of the Wilson guys in it. Not the one that plays in Wedding Crashers, but the other one. I can't remember his name. Owen Wilson, maybe? I probably should have looked that up. But it has him in it, and it looks very good. 
I can't wait to watch it. So I'll be back in a couple weeks to talk with you guys about Henry Pool is here and show you my H block and then reveal my iMovie. Ugh, that one's gonna be a toughie, I think. So I'm gonna have to start researching now for then. So I will see you guys later. Bye.